this week, I'd like to talk about a freedom that has been long absent in the lives of Oklahomans. Educational freedom. The opportunity for parents to choose the school system or the educational environment that is best for their children. Every child in the state can learn, and every child in the state should have the opportunity to learn and to excel at the best of their ability. That has cultural implications for this state as well as workforce development concerns that we could be talking about for years to come, but instead, the legislature took the steps necessary to advance a measure to the governor's desk called Senate Bill 969, the Oklahoma Equal Opportunity Education Tuition Scholarship Act. We're going to hear in just a minute from some of those lawmakers and what they said about how important this is for the state of Oklahoma and the children in our state. But there's something important that we should all remember, and I'd like you to notice as you're listening to these lawmakers. Freedom won in Oklahoma this week. Not a bureaucracy, not an educational system that is focused on administration and adults, but freedom. Children and parents and the freedom for them to choose. That's what won this week in Oklahoma. Let's take a look at those lawmakers. I represent children, and I mean all of the children that I represent, who go to schools that are essentially factories. Those schools not only do not provide them with the kind of education they need to have a future, they destroy their souls while they're at it. Their schools are dangerous. Their schools are dehumanizing. You don't do this to human beings, and yet we do this to human beings. But there's not been a conversation about the student that's trapped in this area. This isn't about trashing public education. This isn't about trashing teachers. It's a fact, people. Wake up. Smell the coffee. We have 16 schools in one area, 18 in another that's on the needs improvement list, and those kids are not getting a quality education. Wow, such courageous lawmakers and such wonderful comments about opportunities for children and the steps that Oklahoma can take to advance freedom. Let's take a minute and talk specifically about what are the provisions of this measure. What does Senate Bill 969 look like? Children and families with incomes up to 300% of the income needed to qualify for the federal free and reduced price lunch program will be eligible to receive scholarships. Eligible students can receive scholarships worth up to $5,000 or 80% of the average per pupil expenditure in the school districts where they reside. The program will provide potentially $3.5 million towards scholarships. Additionally, what is known as the public option portion of this act, the program also provides for a separate $1.5 million in tax credits for donations made to nonprofits that distribute educational improvement grants to public schools. This is very similar to a 10-year-old program in Pennsylvania that has been extremely successful. Well, as you can see, freedom has advanced this year in Oklahoma in yet another area that OCPA has been talking about for nearly 18 years. So thank you for your continued support, your partnership with OCPA, and your commitment to our mission to educate lawmakers and the general public on public policy perspectives for Oklahoma that are consistent with the principles of limited government, free markets, and individual initiative. There are going to be more challenges ahead, and OCPA will meet them with the words of our first president. I can answer for but three things. A firm belief in the justice of our cause, close attention to the prosecution of it, and the strictest integrity. Thank you so much for your support of OCPA. Have a wonderful weekend.